this to me. Now that you know, you, you it's, I'm gonna say, and I know I never did answer your question there with that statement. Uh, probably low 50s. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> what is your sheet? She's making sure she's covered up, ain't she? All right. Come on in, you folks, and uh, we'll lock our door behind us. And check this out. Hang out here for me, if you would, please. And she stays at the back, y'all. Uh, she. <laughs> and, uh, what do you think, girl? I think we're in here. I think we're in here. <laughs> All right. Now, we do lock the door behind us, okay? Oh, okay. I don't like that idea. <laughs> All, right. All right. Now, time to give you a chance to kind of settle in here. Tell you what, while, uh, while this is going on, about kind of settling in and so forth, let me share with you some of the history of Cascade and how this used to be a privately owned cave. Um, in the early part of the 1900s and uh, going up to actually 1959, it was privately owned. And during the earlier part in the 1920s, uh, the uh, private owners would use this room in Cascade strictly as a dance hall. <laughs> okay. Yeah, and they didn't charge the people anything to come into the dance hall. It was a freebie, you know. <laughs> and uh, but however, there were certain limitations that had to be met. Had to be a vampire. It, huh? Had to be a vampire. No, 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 no. <laughs> Don't start on me now. <laughs> no, what was they had? They couldn't go any further than this room. You see. And then if they wanted to go any farther than the room to see more of the cave, which there's a lot more in front of us than what there is here, then they had to pay money. So you see the trick. <laughs> That's the trick, isn't it? I think it's a pretty awesome thing. But uh, anyway, what happened eventually, the people were far more interested in caving than they were dancing, so it went to the wayside, you know. So they no longer dance here. And, but anyway, that's kind of the history of it. <laughs> All right. Okay, now you feeling okay? I'm, I'm good for right She's now. She's good for right now. You can follow up and watch this video. We'll go down just a little bit farther. Let's look around. Can't be later this morning. Okay, we're going to see that the cave is contribution and it's built the cave system and the, the likes of these rooms where we see one, two, three, four main chambers and then there's a hallway or connecting hallway or two or three actually mm -hmm. connecting the main chambers within this side of the hill. All right. And but we won't go through all of those hallways. Because <laughs> some of them don't have lights in. Oh, we told we told their light in all of this. Oh, we we got lights that we'll have. Yes, ma'am. We'll okay. have lights in all that we go see. All right. Except where we do total dark. <laughs> Watch out! You can knock her over with a feather. You know that. That door's still right there. Uh, yeah. no, we don't have to do total dark. I assure you that. Okay. okay. All right. We don't want to make uh, anything uncomfortable for you. Well, this is a pretty chamber here, and again, it is the ballroom cascade cave. Okay. Now, any questions? Other questions here? Observations or comments? Everybody enjoying yourself? No? Okay. Well, now, what about these formations growing from the ceiling? You all got a name on them. What do you call them? Stalactites. Good job. Stalactites. And then on the ground are your stalactites. Mm -hmm. And then when they grow together, it makes a Oh. Good job. All right. I thought well, you were going to get a little bit Let me show you one. Really cute little collar. Check it out. Oh. Awesome. Little bitty fella. And, uh, we, do have one, we do have one over in the uh, Norris Cave. It's like six feet tall. Wow. Big old guy. Big old guy. So there's, there's a variety of sizes to these little colors. But it's where the two join together. We'll be able to see that one. What, oh, sir? Yes, yes, we will. Okay. Yes, we will. And that's in the North Cave, like I said. Good question. Um, the water's actually leaking through the limestone, which it is a porous rock. There's a lot of holes in it. And the water is a weak carbonic acid, 
And so it's uh, movement from the ground level above to the interior of the cave, it picks up calcium from the limestone. And then it redeposits it inside the cave in a variety of fashions. These are collectively known as speleothem, by the way, speleothem. Uh, derivative of spelunking, speleology, uh, like that, okay? And uh, these are very pretty. And to look at them, how they actually grow, you'll notice maybe coming up here just a little closer. You notice that drop of water? Now don't align yourself under it because you know what'll happen, you get drift on. But <laughs> minerals are being discharged there very gradually, and that's how they all grow. Now some of them will, uh, the variety of shapes behind you here, right there, that's a flowstone, you'll see that. So we'll be seeing a lot of those as you go through the cave. So just a variety of shapes and uh, different uh, formations as we go through, and that's, I think it's a really cool cave. I believe you all kind of begin, begin to agree with that. Okay? Yeah. Now, would you like to go down the stairs and see how the cave is made? Yeah. All right, let's do it. Let's check it out. And uh, right down below, we're going down into the lake room. All right? Another nice flow over here. A little bit of ribbon over here, you see it? You find out by itself. I like this one right here, you see that? That's and what cool. is that called? A ribbon. A ribbon. Uh-huh. And look at that. And you know, you got a variety of them. Now, actually, it can be called bacon, too. <laughs> All right. Okay. And there's one in the lake room down here, and that thing has gotten so big, it's about that thick from the wall. Okay about that thick this way <laughs> and that is a monster bacon i'd hate to see that hog <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> i really would all right but well, it'll be downstairs and that's the way it goes look at your layers in your limestone you guys see that yeah yeah that's cool that's good. Yeah. awesome now we Here you. Are these on timers? No. No. <laughs> they they can't afford to put them on timers with me in the cave. Because <laughs> uh, I like questions and I like carrying on. But anyway, no, they're not on timers, okay? All right. It's all the people, watch your hands. Be careful, please. Watch your step too. It's kind of slippery, they're kind of uneven, narrow steps, so just watch this thing. Another headache, right? Headache, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think I said that, didn't I? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Now, right here at this point, we're at kind of a junction, and what we're going to do, we're going to be going downstairs and see the lake room, then we have opportunity to go outside, and then we'll go underground again, and then double back, and then we'll come up and we'll go out that way, all right, and that'll take us out of the parking lot. And uh, I think she sees something cool when you got the uh, condensation. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, I thought it was pretty. Yeah, uh, that's awesome. Now, what's this? Look down in there. That's nice. That's where the air flows through the cave. Uh, uh, the warm air and the natural coolness of the cave just uh -huh. makes that condensation. And that's just really fascinating. That looks like diamonds. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I assure you, it's not. <laughs> now, another thing about it is this condensation is not always present in the cave. Uh, it was arid. Cold day outside, it's going to be just bone dry. 
Okay, so this is all influencing the interior of the game. 